Who are you? I thought you were that bastard for a moment. You've set me free. Now I can find him. The cheeky prick. He won't know what hit him. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. Discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles, and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Mmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> <laughs> And off to Irithyll. Finally, after the uh, training, <laughs> yeah, the Painted World training arc. Now that's finally finished, we can head on over. Right, so, gonna be a bit of a convoluted start today. We're gonna cross the bridge. I killed the Pawn of Beast, um, yeah, Sullivan's Beast back after, it will win the Catacombs episode. Or the second, what, however the fuck I'm breaking this up, I don't even know. I've got to edit this shit soon. Anyway, um, crossing the bridge, hitting the bonfire, gonna go help Sirius, um, Merc Lucatil's brother, because that's totally what Creighton is, and, uh, yeah, then we're gonna go fight the Greatwood finally, and it'll be a fucking massacre curb stomp, I guess. Unless we get invaded. Yep. Sure would suck to get invaded right now, walking into Irithville. Uh-huh. 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 Right. Well, time to hit the bonfire. And walk slowly across the bridge and hope I will not be invaded. In the meantime, Rhyme blue moss clumps. I picked up some of these in the painted world. Moss clump radiating gentle heat and light. Reduces frost buildup. Cures frostbite status. Frost accumulates in the body causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowering absorption and slows stamina recovery. Weapons, weapons imbued with frost are a rare thing indeed, most of them origina originating from this place. One thing I should just quickly pop on. And the reason I bought so many of these so long ago. Because fuck Creighton. And his bullshit healing ways. Alright. So Cirrus needs our help. She's being fought on the bridge. Uh, well, sh oh, she's being attacked on the bridge by Creighton. As she slowly walks towards him. As he uses the obscuring ring. Thankfully he's got... She's got us as an assist with a plus seven flamberge. Now Creighton does that thing the NPCs fucking love to do in this game, which is chug their Estes flask shard, get hit, and still get healed. Unlike us, the players. That said, he's probably going to start using that divine blessing any second. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, nice counter, Cirrus. Yep. Back stab. He's probably gonna roll. Yep. Calculated. Oh, and as you can see, he does a fuck ton. Ah, oh, damn it. I was pre I was prepped for that, serious. Hey, you wanna know what the worst way to do this fight is? Being base level. Um, not fun. This is actually quite hard to keep serious alive. So here we go. He, he was uh, he was a bit fast for me, but he does so much fucking damage. All right, charge R two for the roll catch. Fingers crossed. Gotcha. Thank 
Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Now try to do a cool pose before we leave. No, I want to do jumping. Oh, come on. Damn it. Oh well, that looked lame. Mm. So anyway, let's just head back now, talk to Sirius. Um, this will also mean Grey Rat has officially left Filing Shrine, so Sieg will actually help him. Sieg is chilling in the kitchen in that part of Irifil, right over there, just through that, um, well, the doorway's the bonfire. That's where we're going to meet Alva. Down there, in that little sewer-looking place, is where we're going to find Sieg. So, yeah. Also, apologies if the mic sounds a little staticky. I think that might be the case today. Which is kind of weird, because well, it was totally fine last night. Recording all that painted world goodness. Yeah, super fucking bizarre. I don't know what's up with it. Only so much you can do, though. Anyway, I won't art. I won't fucking weapon art her this time, I think. Hmm. I have not thanked you for your generous rescue. That dark spirit was one of Rosaria's fingers. Vile bastard offspring who lurk in the darkness. My sworn enemies. Fearsome invaders, to say the least. I would not have made it alone. You have my deepest gratitude. If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. If you require help on your travels, I... Blessing of the... righty -o. One of these things is worthwhile. It's the ring. Silver ring depicting a leaping feline. Prevents damage from falling. In the age of the gods, or possibly just following it, an old cat was said to speak a human tongue, with the voice of an old woman and the form of a fanciful immortal. Yeah, it can mean one of two cats. Probably the, uh, the one you're thinking of. Which is the one from Dark Souls 1. Oh, why am... Uh, it's Alvina and... Oh, how, how am I forgetting it? Um... Shalqua, or something like that. I think that's how you pronounce it. Enchante. Yeah, Grey Rat's gone. Perfect. And yeah, Leonhard's still there. Go on, give yourself to Rosaria. No. Well, fuck up her quest line. The woman right behind me. Also, pro tip. Um, this is this is the bonfire you uh, use to get to Greatwood. I don't know why anyone goes through the graveyard. This is the one. This is so much fucking faster. <laughs> you just run out, go off the roof, jump, 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 and you're good. In fact, let's pop on this to make a point. Here. Way faster. And even without it, there's, you know, easier routes to take. I'm just demonstrating how fucking kick-ass this ring is. Yo, invaders, always keep this on you. I don't know why you wouldn't. Um, nothing to really pop on, so... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Are we gonna fat roll? No, we're not. Ooh, we got some frame drops, so... Whoop. Big time. Now, thankfully, we're part of the Mound Makers. So we've taken care of that. If you don't go see Hodrick before this fight, you're going to have to complete Sirius' quest line. Otherwise, you are locked out of Mound Making until New Game Plus, or, well, just the next new game. Yep. Yeah, I guess, ideally, FromSoft had it... Yep, yep of course I'm getting caught that. Ideally, FromSoft had it in their heads that faith builds are going to play with regen and these rings. This and this shield ring. Which would make sense. I've tried it before, it's pretty fun, but man, you've got to constantly heal up. I don't want to break that first. Alright, easy way to do this fight. And, and then, give a sec to lower the sack. Pop. Huh. Where'd everyone go, bingo? We'll be coming back. Yeah. 
And Holdrick's dead body is just over there. Weapon up. Weapon up. That's a dead ass great wood. A dead ass Holdrick. I'm not even going to bother putting the shield on. Nice. Good work, guys. How about me? Could this be a regular? Time for tears. Comfort. Unfortunately, I haven't been farming vertebra shackles, so... Uh, no bloodlust for us. Anyway. We got some cool shit from that. Uh, I've great wood soul, which makes... An okay spear. And a pretty cool greatsword, which I believe got heavily nerfed back from when the game came out. Yeah, definitely the case. Why am I... What the fuck? Huh. Sorry, I'm just doing a quick mic test. Okay, no, that sounds... That sounds okay. Sorry about that. I'm just a little worried about this session going south, because um, this sounds shit. Transposing Kiln. This is what our little friend Ludluff was talking about. There we go. An old transposing kiln from Corland uh, or whatever. Crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide. Give to Ludluff, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. This kiln can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence, deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Alright, so we can finally engage with Ludliff proper. Yay, now taking off the cool ring and going back to my boring stealth. Bingo. You can talk up here, but let's drop down proper. All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludliff of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my child corpse. This sad cadaver, no need to be coy. Have a closer look. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker, or should I say, Lord Slayer. Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, Methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Ah, most admirable. Okay, yeah, so we never actually spoke to him. Neat. That dialogue's because we killed the Abyss Watchers. Yeah, okay, I was just thinking, yeah, Yorm would probably fit in this room. Probably. Aldrich is, you know, still make a mess, so. Anyway, here's the kiln, my dear friend. Yes. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Rightio, so here's all the stuff we can make thus far. A uh, crystal hail from the Crystal Sage. Um, pretty okay spell, not amazing. Wish it was much better. Yep, the sages, well, one of the sages formed a pact with the Undead Legion in order to train the Sorcerers of Farron. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's implied Hazel learned from this sage. I can't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, I can't remember exactly where it's stated, but it's either one of the scrolls, Hazel's pick, or um, one of the spells in particular. Probably Farandart or Greater Farandart. Um, Deep Soul from a Deacons of a Deep. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Uh, Greater Deep Soul was better, which you can only get from joining up with the Aldrich Faithful. Which means, you know, ganking. And having reds kill you. Because reasons. I don't know. Uh, Chaos Bed Vestiges, the Try Hard Pyromancy spell. The one you will see in every gank, <laughs> including a host and his three overleveled phantoms. Um, the only context it's really good in good in, in PvP for the most part, because people are going to dodge out of this really easily. It was Forbidden Sun back in DS2. Um, probably better in that game? I don't know. But um, Demons Born from Fire bore its smoldering essence and perished soon after. Man, man shares this rapport with flames to this day. So yeah, it's Chaos Flame, of course. But tumultuous seedbed, the birth beings known as demons. Boulder Heave, one of my favorites. Heavily underutilized pyromancy. Really fun. Um, especially if you have good cast speed. Um, does take advantage from Flynn's Ring, like spells like Emit Force and such. Anything that takes phys physical, um, but does physical damage will get a bonus from Flynn's Ring. Spews Boulder from one's mouth. The boulder, the boulder is heavy, but it shatters easily. Throw a pebble, how thrilling. Um, Black Serpent, pretty good spell. Walnir came up with some bullshit. Black Flame, infringing on humanity. Uh, the Crooked Candlestick, um, pretty okay. I like it in concept, but it's not the best. Lucatil's Sword, pretty rad. Walnir's Sword that casts um, Wrath of the Gods, as it says right there. Uh, Artorius' Sword with the Wolf's Sword Stance. The spin to win. Uh, if you couple this with the lag bonus, it is very hard to escape. I got fucking comboed by this outside pond of, um, once upon a time. And I couldn't get out because, because of fucking phantom range. Yes, it was quite sad. This is probably what I'll get for the sheer fact of boosting item discovery. Demon's Great Axe. Pretty fun. Not the best Great Axe, but still enjoyable. Vort's Great Hammer. Great hammer with frost. Yeah, 110. Rad. Uh, Old King's Great Hammer. I love this thing a lot. You have to sacrifice vestiges, but if you're going a strength build over a proper pyro, this thing rocks. Again, not the best thing in the world, but it's pretty fun. Aster Spear from Earl Aster the Impaler over in Old Karim. Heavily poisonous meat. And you get HP back. Demon's Fist. Um, yeah. Flame Whirlwind's pretty fucking cool. Havel's Ring. No point getting this while better versions exist in New Game Plus and the Ring City. Cough. And Ponus Left Eye to complete the set. Right. Treat the Firekeeper not with discourtesy. She is much like thee. Prisoners both. Kept to link the fire. And we're done finally. Sorry about that. Just wanted to... You know, get all that out the way, so to speak. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We should wander over here and just make sure. Oh, phew. If he wasn't here for some reason, that'd be crazy. Hey, Grey Rat, what happened, man? Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion night. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. You can keep the ring. As... Right, I'm pretty sure... No, these are new. Because I bought one already because I had a lot of excess souls. Um, notable for anyone using boss weapons and... Um, well, twinkling titanite weapons. Good shit. Scholar's Candlestick, which we'll get from the archives, you know, if we're lucky. Lothric Knight Greatsword. Fucking rad for faith builds, of course. Um, well, if you infuse it with Lightning or Blessed. 
Uh, he already had that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the spear. Yep, Lothric Knight Long Spear. Don't know why he got that from, you know, Irafil, but whatever. The Great Shield, which we've already had. And he's got some Great Arrows. So I was wrong, of course not. Um, uh, the Easterner's Ashes get uh, allows you to buy some of his stuff, but Great Arrow already has it, so... I know it's the, um, it's the Crow Feather ones that go with the Oni Slayer. A Moonlight Arrows from Gwendolyn's bow of not very good. Anyway, thanks for that. I shall. Thank you, mate. She's still pissed. That's going to change today. And again, sorry about the PS3 being so fucking loud. I can't do much about it. That's PS3. PS4, what am I saying? Now, yeah, PS... Yeah, that's weird, actually. The PS3 was pretty loud through Demon Souls, but... Not as obnoxious as this, somehow. I know I should just, like... Have a look and try to find the fan and give it a clean, but... Eh, those things are jet engines. Can't do much about it. And get rid of these. Alright, so welcome to Irithville. Proper, at least. Um, here at a pot of knights. They kicked my ass first time. They still occasionally kick my ass when I'm unprepared and running weak ass weapons. Especially because there's a gank of them immediately. So yeah, they spit some uh, soul drag looking stuff. They have the meta sword. Unfortunately, we don't two shot them, but hey, good enough. So there's this one here who's going to play nice and defensive, Bath spewing his bullshit. Roll it. Sometimes the shield users get a little more aggressive, but generally they'll hang back. Can you guys hurry up? I kind of want to get to the first bonfire. This is the stretch where everyone invades, so I'd like to get this done. ASAP. Because I don't want this to drag on with being an invasion special per se. He appears to have lost interest. Perfect. See what I mean? Hey, he dropped us something. Sick. You can totally run this part. W well, if you know what you're doing. Would not advise it on a first playthrough. You will get fucked up. Arguably, this is the hardest part of all of Irafil, and it's right at the start. Most of it you can run pretty easily. Um, those first three Pond of Knights can be a bit of a pain. Up here is where the true pain beginneth. Vowest. Damn it. Almost. Um, so here we have the Fire Witches with the Irafil Slaves. I, I already murked two of them. Uh, they can drop uh, Claymores sometimes. They'll also drop bug pellets. I believe the magic ones, yeah. Well, that was a mistake immediately. These guys see through walls sometimes, so you got to be very careful. That said, I'm kind of in view, so I'll give this guy a pass. Yep. He's using one of my favorite weapons in the game. Not one of the best, but it's really cool. Um, in spite of its appearance and the stuff he's using, will be attacks he's using with it. It can't cast pyromancies, but it does cast sorceries, which makes it a pretty neat halberd. One of the uh, few um, int-based weapons that has fire scaling. Actually, I think it's the only one. What am I saying? So yeah, got to be careful with these guys, because even though I'm pretty physically bulky, um, yep, yep. Should have rolled earlier, but kind of didn't, didn't think it would go that way. Hmm. Oh great, now we're all hollowed out again. Alright, this is going to be incredibly dumb, but I'm running the first part. Fuck this. I don't want you guys to have to watch me fight the Pot of Knights over and over. So let's just do it. Excuse me, nerds. Yeah, Pot of Knights are, well... A real difficulty spike, I think. Not a not a totally unfair one, but way way tougher than most enemies you'll have encountered at this point. In fact, I think they're one of the hardest enemies in the whole game, in my lowly opinion. Just um, because of a few reasons, they do have some pocket poise sometimes, which is a little irritating, but nothing too aggressive, thankfully. All right, here comes the boys. Uh, there is a pot of night downstairs, but that's not really a great concern. Alright, he lost interest at least. 
Yeah, so a uh, casual illusory wall because you know. Yep. Perfect. Hey, thank you. We're getting to set nice and early. So you might have noticed back at the start, there's this shortcut over here. Well, not really. It's this little area with Doris, a deranged evangelist. Um, and yeah, um, this leads back to the start. That's it. I kind of pissed off the locals, so I'll come back there in a sec. Now we shall approach from the rear. There's a Parliament Funkadelic line about that. I totally forget what it is. Something to do with the boogie, I believe. A rare topic touched on by Parliament. Not known to be a thematic choice of most of their discography. Again, that was sarcasm. Righty o. Bunch of large shards. This is why I'm very happy to finally be here and should have had the painted world training arc after this. So that's another large shard hanging around just there. Bunch of dogs down there. They're dicks. Room full of slaves. And it's a staircase you can't make out just down there, which uh, has pale shade. So we, once we've taken care of her, we can finally be back on Yuria's good side. Take care of you. Yeah. They have some weird swing times. You have to get used to them, but it's not that bad. Hey, like most things in this game, once you know what you're doing, it's not actually that bad. Alright, so let's do this. I'm going to head on back and do all that in a sec. But there's a bonfire right on this way. And no, I'm not embering up yet. I will relatively soon because Creighton's going to invade us for some revenge. Revengeance, I should say, rather. Yeah, so we told Henry where Horace was last time, yeah? Well. There they are. Her, in this case. A she. Oh, I thought it might be you. Good to see you. I never managed to find Horace. But my duty must be done, even alone. As an unkindled Lord Seeker. For the children I knew, bless their souls. We all have our reasons, don't we? Ah. You are brave indeed. To face your duty alone. I would do well to learn from you. May the flames guide your way. Ah, I would may the... Huh, that looks familiar, don't it? That looks like, uh... A lift of some description. Huh, neat. Yeah, so we got the patented St. Riot slow walk gesture. When you've killed them. You know, them scrubs. Right. So over here we have the statue, right? Friend ahead. Depending on the way you're playing, yes. Otherwise, maybe not. Sup. Oh, my. You are. But I'm afraid we require more time. As long as it takes a dark droplet to fall. That is all. Ah, gracious lord. Oh, but... Uh, yep. So this is Yuri's friend who's keeping an eye on Anri. Most likely, well, I mean it's pretty heavily implied but I'm gonna cover myself here. Most likely the pilgrim that told Anri and Horace about here. Oh, and yeah, I never fucking looked at it, did I? Small doll. Small silverwork doll depicting a young squire. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sullivan gave this doll to valued subjects, so that they might use it to cross the barrier when they return home. Listen carefully, and you can hear it say, Wherever you go, the moon still sets in Irithil. Wherever you may be, Irithil is your home. Oh, and there's nothing down this way. Uh, if you're playing the Cinder's mod, uh, Pursuer's down here. Or at least last time I played it, he was. Hope they make him a full-fledged bod uh, boss and not just a character. Like an NPC. Alright, let's whack one of these on. 
we have a plunging attack for, to make that I've done many a times to get the weapon and the armor set. The leggings in particular look really fucking rad. Um, surprisingly with the Xanthus set actually. I'll see if I can uh, make that fashion later on. What am I saying? It all depends on getting the Silver Knight gauntlets. But even then, I've got the Black Knight one, so much of a muchness. Alright, backstab you. Roll through hit. The Magic Clutch Ring. Same as the Fire Clutch Ring we got so long ago. Kind of weird it takes you this long to get another one, though, isn't it? Uh, down this way is a whole load of nothing. Um, in the meantime... Let's up, whack on this. Let's take off this. I'm still going to fat roll. God damn it. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Plonk. It appears we pissed off the wrong one. Our friend hasn't seen us, so they can't do much about it. That's the one I should nail first. Thankfully, we're too far away for... Uh, for Fire Witch to give much of a shit. Oh. There's the weapon up. I don't know how much people use it in PvP, but it's pretty cool. Wow, we're getting exceptionally lucky today, huh? Alright. Uh, I think we've taken care of most of the shenanigans. Um, I'm probably using some weird rings. I'm pretty sure a lot of players wouldn't bother half the time with most of this stuff. Alright. Fire Witch isn't much of a concern. We gotta take out them first, because I'm actually kind of worried about them. You can just do some staggered armor. Oh! Teleport grab. Beautiful. I was gonna say, staggered armor ones work beautifully most of the time. Mostly. As for, as for the invaders, apparently they only come out at night. Mostly. I mean, it is because we died and lost our amber, but besides the point. Ah, hit us now, fucker. Roll. Give it a sec. I want to make some distance. They're going to hear us, but it doesn't matter if Fire Witch is dead. Man, if we had one more point of dex or strength, this would, uh, this would work amazingly. These guys can go invisible, but they're not doing it today, thankfully. One, two. And hit them up with the whip. Beautiful. Probably would have been a little better against the group, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, other than, well, use the whip. Alright. Uh-oh. Alright, come on, you. No, 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 come over. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, bud. Yep. Oh, fuck. Mistimed that amazingly. Great. Good angel does it. Yeah, we're not going to be able to backstab that one, so we'll get who we can. Almost gave it to us for free. Beautiful. Alright. Now we're nice and clear, so we can circle back round. And to make this a little faster, performance enhancing. I'm going to ember up in a tiny bit. We're going to meet Creighton in about two and a half minutes, I guess. I mean, ideally, what I should do... Yeah, what I should do is, um... Kill Creighton, reset it a bonfire, run this way. But, nah, that ain't happening. I'll see if I can make it through Irrefill all in one go. Haha, <laughs> good one, says man who just died. Now, that said, most of Irrefill's not actually going to be that bad. This, this was the hard part. Bar the staircase. And boy, is that fucked. Oh boy, Doris has got a lot more health than I thought. Roll. Gotcha. And charge R2. Got her. Two things. Doris is gnawing. And the witch tree branch. I'm walking against the wall. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, I've also got to read snap freeze, don't I? Uh, one of the spells left behind by young sorcerer Sullivan before leaving the painted world creates a cloud of near freezing mist. Sullivan was born and raised inside the painting, yet had little use for his frigid homeland since he had not yet experienced loss. Wait. 
Okay, no, no, no. That's the same as Frozen Weapon that last part. That's why I'm... That's why I made the lost joke last time. Um, Doss is gnawing. Mir uh, Miracle of Doris, the deranged evangelist. Summons great insect swarm to feast on foes. Has shit tier tracking unlike the ones they use, however. Those who linger too long on the brink of the deep will often slip. Doris is sure to have been sure to have wallowed in the in this darkness, intoxicated by its peril. And there was one other thing I forgot to look at, which was the follower saber plus three. Great, a uh, great curved sword wielded by Farron followers. Its great weight enables heavy-handed chain attacks. They they brandish their swords to hunt warriors taken by the abyss. Their technique is is um honed to face men, implying. That foes yet to lose their human, their human aspect, are like uh, their likeliest prey. Prying wedge. Wow, sorry, um, kind of butchered it there. A uh, prying wedge. What is it? Um, chain attack for wedges below foes swinging upwards to break their guard. Um, someone fucked up with the spacing, as you can see, next to the punctuation marks. Um, being the comma and the full stop. Strong attacks can be used to follow up the onslaught with a fatal blow. After, I believe, yeah, after it was after the Carthus Curve Sword got nerfed, that became the weapon of choice when the DLC came out. And yeah, the rest is history, I guess. <laughs> Roster of Knights for the uh, Blue Sentinels, is it not? Yeah, old um, Dark Moon, uh, whatever it is. Uh, Roster of Knights, online play item. Roster of Knights of the Dark Moon who have served since the age of the Royals. Old Royals. Rest in, pre <laughs> Rest in peace, DMX. Used to discover the names of the Dark Moon Knights, an order of elite knights shrouded in shadows. And speaking of shadows... Um, some weird shenanigans happen, um, well, with coming here first. So, the room just there, actually, is full of our Irrefill slave buddies, right? Um, some weird shenanigans happen where if you run over this way... Um, a certain one spawns inside a wall, you hit him once, he falls through world. Um, similar to what happens in High Wall of Lothric with that one firebomb guy that sometimes doesn't spawn for some reason. And the dude hanging off the ledge, him too. It's kind of weird. Oh, wrong thing. If you have boulder heave, this makes this part fucking hilarious. I can attest to that. Could this be an enemy? <laughs> Could this be? Ah, uh, good one. So, Creighton's, um, clever, right? I should have dressed up as Pate. That would have been great. I've uh, fucked this up. So Creighton chose an excellent place to invade. As all competent invaders know, stay clear of cliffs. Creighton missed that part of the lesson, I guess, though. Ooh, I was a little worried I was going to fall for a sec. All right. Um, before we engage in the jolly old times up ahead, let's have a look at the axe. Before I die to some fucking dogs. Dragonfly's Axe. Axe, fav a axe favored by Creighton the Wanderer, inf infamous deserter of the Knights of Mira. Called Dragonfly's Axe for the lightning that pulsates within its blade, but Creighton used it to slay men. It has the same war cry as every other axe bar the Millwood Knight Axe. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. It's the, um, it's one of the best twink weapons for low level invaders due to the whole, you know, free lightning damage. Plonk. You kidding me? There you go. I think his buddy might get aggroed. So, uh... These dogs have interesting faces. I'm trying to give you guys a sec to admire it. Like most dogs in this game, they are kind of bullshit with their heads. Yeah, so full-on skulls. Human skulls, in fact. Um, tying into the whole thing of what Aldrich be doing. Giving rings out to people to turn them into beasts. Because that's what happened to Vort. That's what happened to the Sullivan Beast. That's what's, hap that's what's happening to these guys. And a couple of other enemies coming up soon. And much later. Yeah, cool, whatever. Could this be a soup? Yeah, <laughs> sure, buddy. There's nothing here, sadly. Decent spot to hide if you're an invader. As long as people don't know, the w don't know how the map works. Uh, nothing to really do there. I can't believe that I was so dense.